Hi guys, my name is Mohammed Yasser. I'm a Microsoft MVP. I do lots of videos in YouTube on Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance and supply chain management applications. Do check out my videos in TikTok 365 or in dynamics365lab.com. So today's video is going to be a continuation of a previous video where we started our discussion on uh, the physical inventory value and financial inventory value and running average cost price uh, concepts in Dynamics 365. If you are a beginner, you are really, really going to enjoy today's video because we are going to discuss about a lot of, in, lot of interesting facts on physical, financial and running average cost price. So let us continue the video. And just in case guys, if you're directly jumping into this video, I strongly recommend you to watch the previous video before coming here, but don't worry. I'll give you a 10 second recap of what happened in the previous video before we proceed further. So in the previous video, we did create two purchase orders. So in the purchase order one, we purchased a 10 quantity of an item uh, where for the, for the cost price of $100 each, so it actually uh, makes our inventory cost as thousand dollars so when we receive the item it basically increases our physical inventory cost and then we invoice the purchase order so now the physical inventory cost is gone and now it converts into a financial inventory value right financial inventory cost so now the financial inventory value is thousand dollars right for that particular item and now after some time the cost price of the item is increased and we are purchasing the same item again in a second purchase order this time the 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 cost price is 120 dollars per item so we are purchasing 10 quantity of it so now it is going to be 1200 we have purchased it and we have also invoiced the purchase order right so now that we invoiced both of this purchase order, the total financial inventory value for the item in combined, it, this, this two are for the same item number, is the addition of this two, right? $2,200 is a total uh, financial inventory value for that particular item. The, until this point, we covered in the previous video. And I also try to explain you between difference between the physical inventory value and the financial inventory value. Hope it's very clear now, right? So let me um, get into that. That's the item. And if I check the transactions for the item, it has two purchase orders. This is number one. This is number two. And if you check 10, 10 quantity, totally there are 20 quantities of the item in the inventory. And the first 10 quantity is for $1,000 and the second 10 quantity is for the $1,200, right? And if I now go and check my um, on, um, on hand inventory. So in the on hand inventory, I have 20, right? And if I also drill down a little more into the on hand inventory, uh, you see here, there is no physical cost because I have completely uh, invoiced everything that I have procured. So right now it's fully invoiced. So there is only physical cost, which is of $2,200, right? So this is something that we have discussed previously. And we've all also, I have introduced another concept in the picture, which is the running average cost price. This is $110. We already know how it comes. It is $2,200, which is the total uh, inventory cost divided by 20 pieces of the item. So this divided by this is going to give us the average cost price, right? So the average cost price is $110, right? So until here, we discussed. So, and we've also seen that the physical cost come into picture when you are receiving an item. It temporarily states there because receiving it posts temporary transactions into in interim account and after you invoice the physical cost is gone and it becomes the financial cost but the physical cost not only comes into picture while you are receiving a stock but the physical cost also comes into picture while you are issuing a stock or even while you are producing from the production point of view right 
So now let me introduce you the concept of sales order and show you how the physical cost gets impacted. So now if I am selling the stock, now I am posting a packing slip. While I am posting a packing slip, it's again a temporary posting, right? It's not yet financially updated, meaning the sales order is not yet invoiced. It's only packing slip updated. In such cases, the system will park that uh, cost which is going to go out from my inventory. When I am posting the packing slip, that means that I am delivering that particular quantity of the item to a customer which is going to move out of my inventory. So that's going to impact my physical value of the inventory, right? So meaning the inventory value, total inventory value, it's going to go out from my inventory, right? So that is, that will be part as a physical cost until it gets invoiced. Once my sales order is fully invoiced, then that will be updated as a financial cost, right? So let's try to do a scenario where, um, um, where well, let me create a sales order okay and put eight quantities of the same item and now I'm selling it for $200 right with some profit of course I need some profit margin right so I'm selling it for $200 so this is going to be the the sales price sales component so let us see what happens and uh, how does the the cost price gets affected right like this is not the cost price this is the sale price right so let's see how the cost price comes into picture. So uh, let me first put a sales order. So let's go to the sales and marketing and create a sales order. That's a customer. And I'm going to change the warehouse to the same warehouse where I actually received the stock, which is this warehouse. And uh, uh, that's the item number. So let me paste it here. And we are going to use eight quantity as per our example. And uh, this item is uh, $200 is going to be my sell price. And that's going to be translated to 1600 right so let's quickly confirm this sales order and uh, post the packing slip so let's physically update the sales order so now I'm delivering this particular item from my inventory, right? So the inventory cost needs to be updated behind the scene as well, right? So when I am, uh, let me say all, let's say, okay. Uh, now let us see what happens. So if I now go back here, you will see if I refresh the screen, you will see some physical cost appearing here in negative, right? So see, oh, now the system is saying, okay, 880 is the value, the inventory value is going to be subtracted out, right? It's going to go out from my inventory, right? So 880 worth of the stock is going out from my inventory. So that's why it is represented in negative and it is not fully, financially updated so that's why it is still part as a physical cost so physical cost comes not only into picture while you are doing a purchase order receipting but it also comes into picture while you are doing a sales order packing slip right that's a point to be noted so now how does this 880 come into picture what is that 880 right so the 880 is calculated based on the running average cost price the inventory is getting detected right now because we are issuing the inventory to the customer on the basis of the calculation will be on the basis of the running average cost price, right? So which means that um, the running average cost price is $110 times 8 because we are getting rid of 8 quantity of uh, the item. So it becomes 880. 
so that is the um, that is what is used for calculating the issue right so the running average cost price plays a crucial and very very important role in calculating the issue cost right so that's one of the very important concept as a beginner to understand right okay now guys let's make it more interesting okay so let me bring my whiteboard so um so if you see here uh right now we made an issue of eight quantity so which means that the inventory is inventory cost is going out so it's going to be 880 right so what is the basis of calculation of 880 is the running average cost times eight 880 so this is the cost price which is going to go out right but if you remember according to our item model group we are following a inventory evaluation model of FIFO right for that particular item so according to the FIFO logic the item this one did come into uh, into the inventory first that's from the part of this purchase order so when I'm issuing it needs to actually subtract out the same cost price right for example this item did come into the inventory with the cost price of hundred dollars each so when I'm following a FIFO logic when I'm actually sending it out of the inventory the inventory needs to not be detected based on the running average cost which is 110 in this case which is actually making it 880 but in real life the cost of that particular item is not 110 but in real life if I follow the FIFO logic it's only hundred dollars right so it should be like this calculation that is 100 times 8 800 so this is an incorrect value this is the actual value of the inventory right so that is why the concept of inventory reevaluation inventory closing inventory recalculation etc comes into picture how dynamics 365 works is by the time of issue by the time of invoicing etc the system will temporarily use the running average cost to issue the inventory off from uh, from our warehouse right so it's going to temporarily use running average cost and it's going to calculate the margin and everything but once we run the inventory recalculation or after the 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 month end process is done the system automatically updates and adjusts everything and moves back the cost to 800 of course until then there is a deviation of 80 dollars between this figure and this figure right so this is very very important concept to understand guys okay so i hope you are clear with it but if you want to understand better about the fifo and inventory evaluation etc that needs to be that will be coming later stage in this particular series but if you wanted to uh, understand it clearly today then you might need to enroll into the course in the dynamics 365 lab.com the link for the course is in the description but however i hope to do those things also as a part of my youtube series okay so anyways so um this is uh something that i would i wanted to make you guys understand hope uh, it's clear and now simplified this is a best simplest way that i could explain the concept of inventory closing so uh, going back so right now let me proceed further with the topic and let's say now we are going to go and uh, invoice this so i'm going to invoice i posted the invoice successfully okay now if i go to the on hand inventory refresh it now you see that the physical cost is gone and the financial cost is updated meaning the 880 is subtracted out of uh, 220 before so it's going to now become 1320 right but is the 1320 is a real value no right because we know that uh, 2200 was the actual inventory cost 
and then we are subtracting it by 880 so now it is 1320 right but after we perform inventory recalculation if we are following the FIFO the real inventory cost meaning the real financial cost needs to be uh, 2200 minus not 880 but 800 right so it needs to be 1400 but right now it is uh, minus 1320 there is a deviation of 80 dollars that needs to be adjusted that will be adjusted upon doing the inventory revaluation process later during the end of the month right so that's the concept of how the running average and the inventory revaluation etc comes into picture guys so let us now um, take it a little more forward um, this is uh, right now um, my inventory invoice is done right uh, sorry my sales order invoice is done right so let me now go to the invoice journal and if I check the invoice journal uh, you see uh, that the this is a sales price sales price is 1600 right and my cost price is 880 right so the margin will be sales price minus cost price and that's how the margin gets calculated right so now what happens the sales price is 1600 minus 880 because based on our running average cost price we we assume that the the cost price is 880 so that makes our margin meaning the profit that we are getting is 720 dollars according to the current situation so right now the company the adc motor company thinks that they are only gaining a profit of around 720 of this particular sales process according to the system but this is not the accurate profit calculation right the real profit is something different upon running of the inventory closing the system will change and the margin will also impact the margin will also vary right so now what happens is uh, it becomes like 600 uh, uh, minus 800 right so the margin is actually 800 right so like minus 720 again there is a deviation of 80 dollars right so this margin will also be later on adjusted and updated accordingly upon running up upon uh, the inventory closing inventory evaluation process at the end of the month right so um, this is the concept of physical inventory financial inventory running average cost price how the running average cost price comes into picture while doing an inventory issue and how does this uh, inventory issues affects the profit margin how does the profit margin is influenced by the inventory revaluation process etc hope uh, it is simplified and clear until here now let's take this to the next level in the next video guys um, so if you feel that this video is simple enough for you to understand simple enough to help your beginners or your juniors then do help by sharing this video in linkedin while you share this video in LinkedIn, do uh, tag me as well because that will really support me. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, guys. See you again in the next video in the similar topic.